Hello. My name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. Today is our day number 50. Yesterday we did Yesterday we did these two words, reprimand and censor. As you can see from the meanings, they are synonym of each other. I forget to make, I forget to make a mention of it yesterday, but of course you can figure it out. They're synonym because that's together. They all, they both mean the same thing. Censor and reprimand. Today is our day number. Oh, I forgot to put the day yesterday, didn't I? Today is our day number 50. If, if I happen to go all the way to 100, which is what my intention is, and if that, if that were to materialize, then we are today officially halfway through. Well, not halfway through yet, but we are at the halfway mark today, day number 50. Today I want to talk about only two words. Only two words. As you can see, their spellings are very similar. The very first word we see there is corroborate, corroborate, and collaborate. Let's put this word here. Collaborate. What's the difference between collaborating with somebody and corroborating someone? Not with somebody, but someone. Or someone's story. Go. Rob. Go. It has a rock sound, corroborate, corroborate, and collaborate. Collaborate, corroborate. What's the, what's the difference? You have to say it slowly, otherwise you will muck it up, just like I just did. To corroborate means to, to verify something. To Attest the accuracy of something to substantiate To substantiate something means to support it, to attest it, to verify it. Yeah, I know he did not. I, I know he did not. Uh, he did not uh, uh, do such and such and such a thing because I was there. Uh, I know that he did not. Uh, I know that it wasn't him. I know it wasn't he, not him. I know it wasn't he who broke the vase, I know that, because I was there when it happened, and it was Michael. He is right, he is not telling you the truth, uh, he is not telling you the lie, he is telling you the truth. When he tells you that he did not break it, he is telling you the truth, because I was there when Michael broke the vase. I can, I can corroborate his 
his story, his his assertion, whatever it is that he's claiming, I can verify it. I can I can tell you that he's not telling you lie. I can corroborate it because I was there. I saw it. That's what it means to corroborate, to verify, to attest the accuracy of something, to substantiate something. What does it mean to collaborate, which is of course a very simple word. I, I, we covered this word not because we want to learn this word, as I said, it's a very simple word, but I wanted to cover it just to make sure that you do not confuse this word with corroborate, collaborate, which means to work together or to cooperate. And as I've told you before many times, even if you have trouble understanding my accent, and even if you have trouble understanding my pronunciation, and even if you think that I mispronounced and mucked up the, the pronunciation just now, it doesn't matter. At the very least, now you're cognizant of the fact that this word exists and it is different from that word. And next time when you come across in your reading this word, you will recognize it. At least you will understand this is a different word than this word. So that's the idea. Corroborate and collaborate. Let's carry on. There is one last thing I want to talk about before we go on. It means to verify something. It means to verify some something or to some or someone's story. To attest the accuracy of something or someone's story. To substantiate. And it also means to to bear out. What does it mean to bear out? Let's learn it, shall we? Let's learn it. I need the room. I'm going to raise everything. And we're going to learn this expression here. To bear out. To bear out means to corroborate. To bear someone out. To bear someone out means to verify his story yeah he's not telling you the, he's not telling he's not lying he's telling you the truth I saw that I, I saw it with my own eyes I was there when it happened you are I can bear him out when when he tells you that he did not break it I can bear him out I was there when Michael broke the vase. I can bear out, I can bear him out. To bear someone out, to bear someone out means to verify the person's story. It means to prove right, to confirm. Your manager might say, your manager might say to you that uh, you're claiming, you, you're claiming that our market share is growing, but the sales figures do not bear you out. Your claim is that we are, our market share is growing, but the sales figures that are sitting in front of me, the sales figures that I have at my desk, do not bear out your version of the story. To bear out means to corroborate, to confirm, to attest, to bear out. It's an expression. That's it. That was it for today. And that was the end of our day number 50. I shall see you again next time, tomorrow which is going to be our quiz time, if, uh, as you know, every at the end of every five days, we have a quiz. So our next, next meeting, we will have a quiz on all the words that we learned from day number 46 through 50. 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Don't ask me why I all of a sudden had the urge to count. We'll have the quiz on those five days, 46 through 50, next time when we have our vocabulary lesson. So make sure that you learn this word properly before you watch the quiz number 10. This is our 10th quiz, as I said, at the end of every 5 days. So the next quiz is going to be quiz number 10. Alright? I'll see you next time. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, either face-to-face -face or in face-to-face -face or, or over the internet via Skype, uh, for GRE, GMAT, SAT or TOEFL, you can go to any of these website addresses that you see there and send me an email. Or you can simply go to keshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright? Thank you.